I'll get that eventually. I've actually already seven of them. Christ. Um, yeah, like I said, eventually. So, now that we're done here, we must head to Dalaran. Actually, I can just... You know what? No, no, no. We'll, we'll, we'll f uh, go this way. Do I recognize these guys? Not really. Actually, I think these are all from the tournament. All of these guys. But, uh... Um, uh-huh. Good for you. Um, Legion, Legion, Legion. Did they ever talk about anything else? Um, but, uh, yeah, I think they're all from the Argent Tournament in Ice Crown. We'll know at some stage, I'm sure I'll swing by that way on an alt, but, or on Pal and I himself, considering the detours have gone on in this, uh, let's play. But, like, I went and ran, you know, Sunwell and ICC and Encrage 20 and 40 man, you know? I, I've gone on some tangents. So, yeah. But just to point it out. Ah, you bastard. Alright, Ice Crown. Here is where I'm talking about. Um, so, they're presumably NPCs from there. They certainly seem to be. One was called an Argent Commander. So, it's kind of fitting. Also, I really should go do that. Really should. Would unlock a new quest. Remember the. Fuck. Remember the one I had difficulty doing? Um, it would unlock another one of those, for but for protection powers. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll start off over here. No. Do you. Eridar summoners are trying to establish new structures down in the Shattered Fields. Disrupt their plans and help our soldiers. My scouts have spotted a prime target. Two arms! Okay, someone's trying to do it, but if it's really by themselves... I'm just not sure if I could... if I'll be enough to really help out. I'm gonna see. Yes, you in. Thank you. Kill Jaden's ship, even after its destruction. Its presence vexes us. Clear the surrounding area of its blight. Knowingly, they're dead, but uh, hopefully this group will stick around. That's why I was humming and hawing, because I was just like, are they still going to stick around, or, you know, are they just done? Yeah. Shit. Okay, we don't have a tank. I was just like, shit, I pulled aggro. <laughs> but, uh... In this case, really, there's no no one to put aggro from. It just kind of happened. And my God, Jesus! After getting melted. I've seven hundred two of these. It's really not much. Okay, we've. We'll go do this stuff ourselves. What? Okay, the laborer wants some of this. Deactivating. There's a fell devastator. Some fell secretions. Not you. Oh, also, this is nearly done, but this only works in, you know, like, uh, the Broken Isles. Doesn't work in, uh, on, uh, Argus. Well, seems so. It seems to be that case, anyway. Uh, that's Caustic Overflow. They're presumably worth more than the Fell Secretions. 
he presumes so anyway. But we'll lead him chase after the armors. Okay, ah, they're back. Oh, did the hammer miss? Oh, that's irritating. Do wonder where that guy keeps running off to. Oh, I keep... Is he trying to beat this guy up by himself? Oh, I commend the effort, but you're shit. Um... Hammer. It's too far away. Okay. I'm gonna beat these up myself. Well, if they don't want them. And these are all considered elementals. So yes, fell sweat is apparently elemental. Okay. Booyah. Though I kinda need to. Okay, there we go. And since those guys got marked, well, there's a big guy with a similar model to that one raid boss. He's the fell lusted worm tongue. That's a phrasing I'm not used to. Fell lost. Attacks be increased by so much, thirty percent. Okay. Okay, we're just done now, and we'll get five Argos Waystones. And this will get us... This is for Co Corcoon and the Army of Wives. Will we actually get rep with Argosian Reach, or is that just... You know, a marker for someone else? Oh, like for the area rather than... Anything else. Hmm, I'm not sure. No. Cannot be purged as easily as you cleanse these grounds. So I got some Argus, uh, Argus, yeah, Argus waystones, and I actually did already have some. Used by minions of Sigaris, force po uh, force open portals from Argus to other Legion-controlled worlds. So basically, uh, the Imperium Seam is right here. Smack. Mine. Um, uh, basically I think that's how you force open the, oh that's cool, it's a demonic, um, hourglass with like wailing souls inside, but, um, I do believe basically, um, that's how you summon in these guys, invasion points, I believe that's how you summon in these, so, Pit Lord Valmus. Burn. Cool. Uh, let's see. Pit Lord Valmus' brutality is renowned. Hold on. Actually, I don't have. Ah, yes, I have to do the Soul Harvester one here, don't I? Uh, it's re renowned even among the Legion. He delights in setting his foes of flame and Falfar, and laughing at their despair as they beg for the mercy of death. Okay, so I have to take down the Soul Harvesters. That's fine with me. Here we go. So yeah, it's just the Demon Arrow Bosses. Oh, I didn't mean to use uh, the Divine Storm, uh, the Ashfringer ability there. I forgot to use Divine Storm and I'm misclicking. Also, that's weird. It's got the map as an icon, rather than a custom hourglass thing. Or even a general hourglass thing. It's kind of weird and ill-fitting. Makes me think it's, it was a placeholder. They forgot to on placeholder, you know, placeholder. Okay, that one's down. There should be one over this way. Okay, we'll just have to wait here for a moment. There's a Life Forge Dragoon. 
Don't see them using a jump attack. They are high. But actually, actually speaking of Dragoons, we need to get back to... Um, what's his face? My Drum Karan. My, uh, my Final Fantasy XIV character. Need to get back to him badly. But I can't get back to him until I'm done with my wealth subscription. Just want to make sure I get, you know, mo get stuff out of it, you know? Rather than running off and abandoning it. And it, it. Oh, I also, honestly, th these people's name is way too close to, uh, you know, Naxxramas for my liking. Way too close. And just fucking call down the laser. Each uh, magical ship weapon. Uh, now there's one more. Oh, the western one. Just right through all the enemies may as well. Now there is a big guy down there at the end, but I see a little point in engaging him. Uh, and, regrettably... Oh, no, it's back already. Beautiful. Destroyer... Uh, Targaris? I presume so. Foul Tear? No idea what that is. Now, while we're beating on this, let's go look up who they mean by the Destroyer. Agrimar. Oh, shit. We're gonna beat up Agrimar. I... Looking... Looking at this, uh... Oh! One of the, uh, Titans is still alive. And... Eonar, the Lifebinder. Verimatris is back! And he's like a Gimp Dreadlord. Gimp Lord. Lord of the Gimps. Uh, now how the mighty have fallen, eh, Michael Fatley? Garothian World Break. Though, to be honest, we took out the Soul Collectors, not... Actually, I guess the Soul Collectors was powered. Eh, no fun clue. Crafted deep within the core of Argus, and outfitted with an arsenal capable of decimating worlds, this war machine has been uh, designed for a single purpose, to bring the mortal's invasion to its knees. Fell Islands of Sigaris, fused with fire and shadow, Fang and Shautug, uh, our prized pets of Sigaris, bred for carnage, these houts... Could you please piss off? Okay. I said, please. Bring down the laser. It's done. Thank you. I said, please. Uh, bring it back up. Uh, bread for carnage, these hounds delight in eviscerating their ma ma master's enemies. With the armies of light and their allies preparing upon, uh, advancing upon our Tonus, the Legion prepares to unleash these vicious creatures onto the battlefield, put an end to the mortal's invasion. I have to go up there on foot, which is... Okay, which is fine. Uh... With the army of light and their allies advancing upon Artonis, the Legion prepares to unleash the, this, uh, these vicious creatures onto the battlefield and put an end to the mortal's invasion. Also, we haven't seen Maev here at all, have we? You'd have thought she would have come, considering our contempt for Odin is qu quite substantial. You'd think she'd want to come and keep an eye on him. So there's that, and there's him. And we can actually get a, a mount, which is a flying mount. Can't see any details on it though. Ooh, cool um, belt. So that's interesting. Artonian High Command. 
On going, the golden age of the Eridor civilization, the council was formed to oversee the defense of Argus and maintain peace. But after the dark bargain was struck with Sargeras, these master technicians used their military uh, expertise to help orchestrate a burning crusade that ravaged countless worlds. Now the full might of the Legion's army is theirs to command, but will this terrible power to unite all who oppose the Dark Titan's will? Admiral Sivrix, uh, Chief Engineer Ishkar, and General Erodis. Erodis. The high, uh, the the Atonian high command, uh, 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 sorry, Antoron, Atoron, uh, I'm gonna go with Atorian. Uh, high command, street commanders attack enemies facing, uh, attack their enemies both face to face from inside their command pods. When commanders outside their pod at any given time, commanders still in their pod attack the, their enemies using the might of the Legion military. While commanders attacking directly, their command pod is empty and can com be commandeered. Appeared attacking their enemies face to face, commanders will assume command, return to their pod. That means yours. They have to uh, group up under foul shield to mitigate the effects of fuselage and uh, interrupt the fanatical power masters when they cast power blast. And they focus additional healing on allies who enter the command pond. They suffer under the effects of psychic assault. Uh, tanks. Uh, Position active commanders are facing away from allies so they don't get hit by certain calls. None about who should go in and who shouldn't. Which is one thing I dislike about this stuff. Uh, so, Portal Keeper Hesabel. Portal Keeper Hesabel maintains a nexus through the which the Legion has unleashed its insidious armies upon countless worlds. Without portals that opened a myriad of strategic locations throughout the Great Black. Uh, uh, throughout the great uh, dark beyond, Hesabel is capable of bringing the mind of the Legion's arsenal to bear upon any who oppose her. And this is her. It's a, a, a model that appears quite frequently as of late. And hello, Erinar. Uh, though she was felled by the blade of Sargeras, the lifebinder's essence escaped the grasp of the Dark Titan. After millennia spent hiding in, the, in isolation, Erinar's sanctuary has been discovered. That's why we've seen her name before. Should her soul fall into enemy's hands, and her powers of nature and growth will be perverted to make the Burning Legion, un the Burning Crusade, unstoppable. Forces of the Legion will warp in and charge at Erinar's essence, attempt to destroy her outright. The, Legion, the players must defend Erinar until she can gather her energies and strike back at her atta attackers. Most cr creatures are oblivious to her attempts to thwart their advance. Many of your crowd recording efforts will work here. Move away from other players when targeted by Rain of Fell. Imanar, the Soul Hunter. The infamous Imanar serves as the Legion's bloodhound, capable of tracking prey across the cosmos. With a vast array of gadgets and traps at his disposal, Imanar has as yet to lose a bounty, and certainly he doesn't intend to solve his perfect record by failing to fulfill his latest contract. This guy, who's kind of missing his weapon here. He's also using a similar model we've seen before. Uh, it's just rejigged a little, but it seems to have the same build and whatnot as the Fell Wards or whatnot. The guys we saw in like uh, Hellfire Citadel and ever since, like I believe, same model as the you know guy down the field to, over that way, you know him. Oh, this is interesting. King G G Garoth. The, the design of every Legion war machine stems from the depraved mind of King Garoth. Obsessed with crafting implements of death, King Grodd infused his very body with the production machinery so he could more efficiently churn out a never-ending supply of destruction. At the behest of the Legion's Dark Master, King Grodd's fe fevered brilliance has developed a new, t uh, a new super weapon which he plans to unleash upon the Army of Light. Very monstrous. As one of the Red Wars is overseeing the Legion's forces at, during the Tard War, Very Mattress failed to stop the rebellious Lich King. He submitted to an ill fated alliance with Sylvanas Windrunner that made one last bid for power before facing a humiliating defeat. Payment for his blunders, Very Mattress has been uh, tortured by the coven of Shivara. The, this, the vindictive sisters, sisters stripped away both flesh and sanity, leaving only a single desire to inflict suffering upon mortals who cost him everything. Uh, Vermontius used the darkness of his cell to stalk his prey, attacking them with Alone in the Darkness. Which is actually very similar to an old game called Alone in the Dark. It inflicts 1.6 shadow damage to any player if they aren't within 8 yards of another player. Mark prey to avoid being, uh, position mark prey to avoid being knocked out of range of your allies. Um, so he marks his prey and then charges towards them through the, uh, Charge through the darkness towards him after 5 seconds. As he charges, he will hunt the first target 
he hits, inflicting 1.5 million shadow damage and knocking the target back. And you're to angle it so you're hit 